What is going on YouTube? Hannah Beck making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of different stuff to discuss in today's episode. Obviously, we are gonna be talking about the basics, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XLM TUSD, also known as Stellar Lumens TUSD. We're also going to be looking at a very interesting exchange I found that I wanted to share with you guys, as well as looking at the massive major dip and volume that cryptocurrency has been making and what that means. So I think it's absolutely wild. Um, I'm absolutely mind blown and I really wanna share this information with you. I'm sure you guys are already familiar and aware of what's been going on um, in regards to previous videos that I've been discussing that major moves are going to be happening very soon. I was hoping for a bullish outlook Obviously, we didn't get that, but we'll discuss that more in today's video. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and let's jump into today's episode. So before I begin, I just wanted to show you guys the current coin market cap right here. Now this is before I refresh the page. This is what I was looking at yesterday when I loaded it up. So I'm not sure how much we corrected since then, but you'll notice when I look at here, every single coin is pretty much down tethered now in the number fourth position, very surprising. But you can see down 13, 20, 14, 26, 18, 16, 30, 30, 13 it's absolutely wild so i'm gonna refresh the page see exactly how well we do right now really not much better uh we pretty much just completely catapulted downwards and then started to consolidate you'll notice 12 13 21 15 19 18 23 11 so a little bit better but still incredibly low crazy drops in the market absolutely mind-blowing very surprised that this is all happening but i do have reason to believe that this was all planned for and i kind of want to talk about that and what i've been pretty much figuring out the past couple of days so here's my channel obviously i just want to scroll down to maybe a two weeks ago or a week ago so basically you can see i started i guess with litecoin might be in big trouble and the reason i talked about litecoin being in big trouble is because we we're getting very close to the end of um it's huge massive symmetrical triangle you'll then see as i've been continuing all my videos have been pretty much thumbnail titled preparing for volume as you'll notice on the current coin market cap right now we have a ton of volume this is like i get a lot of negative comments in the channel uh and on the comments on my videos that uh, are very negative when the market turns bearish and i understand that it makes sense people are upset they lost money or didn't take advantage of it but my videos are 100 percent transparent and very true i've been talking about major volume coming into the market now i feel like the people who are new to the channel don't understand that major volume doesn't mean potentially breakouts to the upside super high major volume can also be an indicate which i explained in all my videos of a retracement down to the lower so you can see literally one week ago critical Litecoin prepares for volume well let's see we have over a hundred billion dollars in volume right now compared to two days ago which had 49 billion in volume so twice the volume has come into the market right now Litecoin's volume is 4.2 billion it's quite a bit so for those of you who are unaware volume has most definitely shot into the market and exploded the price so you can see here also time is up you know litecoin is about to explode now these are videos stressing that we're going to be making a major move obviously in some of them they are a bullish outlook because you know we all want a bullish outlook so i'm trying to predict the possibilities of us breaking up but at the same time i'm also trying to predict the possibilities of us breaking down and i've definitely mentioned that in all my videos you'll notice we all come to this end point right here all my videos coming to an end point wait is almost over litecoin's next move is about to happen you can see great news litecoin uh leads rally to higher levels which we saw litecoin was starting to retrace back up you can see right here litecoin was starting to consolidate back upwards and you can pretty much see in all my videos you know that we're going to get really close i said litecoin's boron is already coming if we see you know bitcoin move up as well unfortunately that didn't happen and then a lot of these videos litecoin could honestly be huge if breakout happens uh with bitcoin so litecoin proof that there is a major move coming so there's all of these videos that i'm basically titling this major move is coming and if you notice on bitcoin for the past couple weeks ever since september we've been trading sideways not moving literally no volume nothing so for us to see this 
this is a major move. This is a huge move. You know, um, this is the volume that I've been talking about. This is the major play. We've been literally trading sideways for days on days on days on days with no volume at all. And this is major volume. So my videos are all titled correctly. They're not clickbait and they're not wrong. Every video that I've made has proven to see a major move in volume. And this is exactly what we've seen. It's literally just timing and trying to figure out the exact moment it's been happening. But if you notice my past couple of videos, I've been pretty much getting really close with the possibilities of this breakout happening. And now the breakout did happen. Unfortunately, it was to the downside and not the upside. You can also see ways people like to track this is they'll go on to price range, they'll open like the mouth of this, you can see it's pretty much a 30% gain. And then what they can do is then move this over and open up another one and consider that the mouth also opens up a 30% gain, which is about right here so we're almost we're only about halfway down um, but for the most part you can see that there is still that major correction obviously this could be to either side you can use either you know ways of finding it you can go to like short or long position and there you go you can pretty much open it up like this so you can see that we're seeing about the same movement right here if you open the point and you'll notice that this is the breakdown to the downside and this is the amount to break to the upside so it looks very beautiful you can see right here people wanted you know deeper technical analysis so this shows it perfectly but you know this does prove to me that technical analysis does work nobody would have called that right at this point right dead center we would have seen a major you know explosion in volume but that is exactly what has been happening all due to the fact that we have been trading these cryptos and watching these cryptos to the point so i just want to type in litecoin news or bitcoin news so we can see what's going on markets falling uh so if i launch a zero fee let's type in bitcoin news let's see what that talks about bitcoin price slides a thousand dollars uh bitcoin shopping app folds back nothing really too important to discuss but I mean, this is this makes my day. Unfortunately, we do break bearish, you know, and these are, you know, extremely overbought or sorry, oversold prices, which may indicate us to start, you know, rallying back to the upside. But until then, you'll notice this was all calculated. We've been watching this. We've been trying to predict the point of breakout. Yeah, we've been off by maybe a day or two, but we've been able to figure out that volume is coming. And I always tell you guys to wait and see for the confirmation of which direction we wait. I tell people all the time on these videos, do not wait, do not buy in right here. It's a hit or miss, it's 50-50. If we break this line right here and we start to head up and we can confirm a daily candle above here, then buy in because that's usually the confirmation of a you know boom and a, to the upside. If we break resist or support and we start to come down from that, it's pretty much a confirmation that we're going to head much lower. And this pretty much shows it. You know, We've seen the biggest volume we We've had in months on months on months we haven't seen volume like this in such a long time it's absolutely wild uh, the fact that we're now up to a hundred billion in volume it's freaking crazy so let's see if this loads yeah you can see the volume that we're starting to have let's go to like maybe the seven days and I'll show you um, just a little bit harder to show yeah you can see it down here so don't go by this up here go by this you can see that this has been shooting the price up now volume pretty much doubled since then so that's a great indicator of volume right there I do actually have some other things to go into with you guys so this video is gonna be a little bit longer um, obviously you can skip ahead if you want to simply just watch the um, what is it the technical analysis that we'll do in a second but I did have an exchange that I wanted to show you guys and I have a couple of information and things to discuss so obviously I've been having some difficulties with different exchanges um, Coinbase Pro and other ones uh, you know, Abra and things like that. Abra is really good, but they do have some fees. I just recommend it for people who want to get that $25 free deposit on your first investment of five, which is huge. So that's why I push Abra because I think it's a great way to get free cryptocurrency to start up. But you know, Coinbase Pro has been having, I've been having issues with, you know, fully transparent. They locked me out of my account. Uh, haven't traded on it in a couple of weeks. And when I went back in to start trading, yeah, I said I could not, you know, I was locked out of making withdrawals or limited orders, which was absolutely mind blowing, very shocking. So I came across this website, Bybit. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more advanced, I think, than Coinbase Pro in terms of figuring it out. I've been trying to play around with it a little. I want to sort of record something for you guys so you can see as well. But this is Bybit right now. I'll have the link in the description if you want to check it out. 
And I've been doing some research trying to figure out what exactly makes Bybit this, uh, makes me comfortable using Bybit. So I came across a couple of things. I have a PowerPoint, or sorry, this Microsoft document I downloaded as a PDF, as well as this thing that I found on the website. So basically it talks about perpetual contracts, Bitcoin to Ethereum with leverage, EOS to XRP with leverage. You have advantages 10 times at the average speed of match engine. You have gray release features, hot patches, 24 seven email and live chat, which is great. Full trading view integration. The other thing was with Coinbase Pro, I it was getting me some automated bots. It was not live chats. It was not real emails. It was kind of fake. So I felt kind of pissed off that they just randomly balked me for no reason. So the fees are quite, quite low, uh, 0.5 maintenance margin for any volume and 0 0.025 makers rebate, 0 0.075 takers fee. They have limit market conditional, stop entry, stop losses, take profits, uh, trailing stops, auto margin replenishment. So this is for people that want to get a little bit more in depth into crypto uh, in terms of trading than just Coinbase Pro or something like that. Current stats, they have 150,000, 500 mil, 50 mil in liquidity. Absolutely wild that an exchange like this can have 50 million in liquidity. It blows my mind to actually be able to find something like this. You can see they also have an affiliate program like every other place first here. So definitely sign up down below, I think, and then you can also try to get people to come along and you'll get uh, some, some profits made off that. So that's pretty awesome too. And then I found this Bybit um, derivative PDF thing here that talks about, gives traders the ability to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, EOS, pretty much the bigger cryptos. You, how can such tr uh, a new exchange be really trusted in this Bybit review? We'll give you everything. Now this is 30 pages, so I don't really wanna go in depth with it because it's kind of a lot to discuss and talk about. But you can see what sets Bybit apart from their competition, fast execution, advanced order systems, live chat, native collateral, low maintenance fees, which I like. I like the fact that there are very low fees. They also have exchange similar to, um, what is it, uh, Coinbase Pro. They have the two-factor authentication, which I like. They have leverage. There's a ton of stuff. Liquidation, Bybit fees, they talk about very small. so. It's very easy to register to, um, deposit, withdrawal. You know, everything is pretty awesome. You know, I'll try to link this down below as well. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult, but for the most part, it's fairly easy. So I deposited money. You can see, you go to my assets. You can see right here what was deposited. So it gives you the Bitcoin price as well as the calculation, which is the amount USD. So I like that, that it shows you the comparison to how much it's worth uh, per the price right now. It's actually like $200 a couple of days ago, but with this major drop in crypto, it dropped this to quite a bit. Now, when you go into, I wanna to try to trade around with this, show you how easy it is, but I'm gonna figure it out as we go along with you. You'll notice we have to go to, we're on Bitcoin right now, okay, cool. So we go to limit as we're on, and we can go to the order price, which is pretty much 8445. Uh, we might have to change this around to that level. All right, and then you can see I can make the conf confirmation right here. And now it says my order has been submitted. So it's that simple. And then I believe once the transaction goes through, once whatever I just placed goes through, it should fill that. You can see my order has now been filled. So my all my $172 USD has now gone into, I believe my assets right here. Let's check that out. Now you can see how much I actually have. So that turned it into US dollars. So very interesting, pretty cool. Now I have the US, US dollar to trade around with. And then I can send that, change it to different exchanges, and it's fairly simple. And then you can then turn that into you know, your Ethereum pretty easily. It's very cheap and inexpensive in regards to the uh, price and the fees on here. So that's kind of why I like it. And then you can change that into, you know, you can click on, where is it? Right over here, you can click to to go into Ethereum. And then you can then order that in Ethereum because you have the value right here you have available to trade around with. So it's fairly simple. Definitely recommend checking it out, playing around with it. Um, otherwise, I would like to jump into the current uh, charts right now. So you can see we're on, I wanna start with Bitcoin. You made your breakout on Bitcoin, which is just falling to extremely low levels right here, pretty much at its support or a support that's down here. We're testing it, we're retracing back up. We're extremely oversold right now, so I'm really anticipating a bounce you know, off of where we just fell to. We see this major bounce right here. We're going to start to see us bounce back up most definitely. That's usually what happens with these major retracements. 
and these major breaks to the downside, you'll also notice the same thing is happening with Bic, uh, with Litecoin. Uh, not really much of a support here. So my main focus right now is really paying attention to where Bitcoin trades from. I know this uh, technical analysis was short. You can see Litecoin, I mean, sorry, Ethereum is also hitting a bottom support at 158. But for the most part, these coins do look like they're going to be consolidating. And this is still a major move. I'm still very in shock. But all these coins have pretty much been extremely manipulated, Litecoin too by Bitcoin's recent, you know, break to the downside. So I really have to wait another day to see where exactly these prices start to trend and trade out before I can make any sort of judgment and calls. But I do know that these things are, you know, still profitable and you can still make money off this buying in at levels as low as where we're currently at right now. It's as simple as going on to buy bit and buying your position right there and holding because I do think we're going to see it bounce really quickly off to the upside. So otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's episode. Apologize once again for being a little bit longer than usual. But otherwise, definitely check out Bybit. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.